Saudi Arabia just broke every rule in the book. They are not building a city. They are building the future. Skyscrapers that stretch for miles, mountains that create snow in the desert, and a floating industrial city in the middle of the Red Sea. And the craziest part, it's already happening. This isn't a concept. This is the most ambitious transformation the modern world has ever seen. And you're about to find out why the world is watching Saudi Arabia like never before. Let's start with the one that shattered every idea we had about cities. The line, this isn't just a city. It's a 170 kilometers long, mirror-covered megastructure slicing straight through the desert. No roads, no cars, just high-speed transit and AI-powered systems connecting everything in minutes. It's designed to house 9 million people, all stacked vertically, living in a zero-emissions utopia. Imagine walking out your door and having everything you need, schools, parks, stores, and even workspaces, within a five-minute walk, all while being surrounded by nature. And get this, the entire city will run on 100% renewable energy. The line isn't just bold, it's unreal, and yet construction has already started. But here's the twist. As ambitious as the line sounds, it's already hitting reality checks. Originally planned to stretch 170 kilometers and house 9 million people by 2045, recent reports say only 2.4 kilometers might be completed by 2030. That's less than 2% of the original plan. Why? Massive engineering challenges, cost overruns, and the sheer scale of what they are trying to build. Still, even that 2.4 kilometers section is unlike anything else on Earth, and construction is very real. In the hidden marina zone, for major modules 45, 46, 47, and 48 are already in progress. Module 45 leads a pack with foundations and above-ground structures already rising. Module 46 isn't far behind. With over 5,500 piles driven deep into the ground using low-carbon concrete, part of what's now the largest pile-driving operation on the planet. Across the board, automation, GPS-guided machines, and smart drilling fluids are being used to build with precision. Module 47 is still in excavation, while Module 48 is almost ready in terms of site preparation, but clearly behind schedule, mainly because there's no sign of cranes or trucks to complete the excavation process. At the same time, the world's largest geotering system is running 24-7 to manage the massive volumes of water on site, using over 500 wells and thousands of sensors. Tunnel boring machines are carving out tracks of the spine, a high-speed electric rail that will run the full length of the line. And beyond the city itself, NEOM is also building out renewable energy infrastructure with huge solar farms, wind parks, and the world's largest green hydrogen plant in the oxygen zone. This thing is happening, but it's going to take a lot more time. And that's just the beginning, because what Saudi Arabia is planning next is even wilder. Right in the heart of Riyadh, something massive is taking shape. King Salman Park, the largest urban park project in the world. But at the center of it all is the real showstopper, the Royal Arts Complex. Spanning over 500,000 square meters, this cultural megahub is turning bold plans into steel and stone. Designed by the legendary Ricardo Bofill, it blends traditional Saudi elements with modern architecture. The Star Attraction, a 106M tall pyramid-shaped museum that's set to become an icon of the city skyline. Alongside it, You'll find artist studios, a cultural institute with a 600-seat auditorium, and the dome, a futuristic sphere made for showcasing Saudi talent. And progress is already visible. Recent satellite images and on-site footage show active construction across several key zones. Steel frames are going up, cranes surround a future museum, and groundwork is underway for the dome and the theater structures. Major infrastructure like utility networks, internal roads, and landscaping is already being laid. Even the visitor's pavilion, designed to welcome guests with immersive previews of the park's vision, appears to be nearly complete. This isn't just a vision anymore. It's a physical reality rising fast. But it doesn't stop there. The National Theatre is one of the most ambitious in the region, with a 2,300-seat main hall, a 650-seat secondary theatre, and three cinema halls. All of this is part of King Salman Park's larger vision, a 16 square kilometers green sanctuary aiming to plant over 1 million trees and transform Riyadh into one of the most livable cities on earth. And just when you think Saudi Arabia couldn't push boundaries any further, they drop the cube. 
officially called a mukab, this futuristic megastructure will rise 400m in height, width, and depth, large enough to hold 20 Empire State buildings inside. Designed to be an immersive city within a cube, the interior will feature advanced digital and virtual environments where visitors can explore floating platforms, futuristic streets, and alternate realities, all under one gigantic roof. The Mukab will serve as a centerpiece of New Mirabar, a new downtown district in Riyadh aimed at redefining urban living. According to recent reports by Design Boom and Newsweek, major progress is underway on the larger New Mirabar master plan. Around 86% of the excavation work has already been completed, with over 10 million cubic meters of earth moved. To reduce the environmental impact and traffic disruption, a temporary bridge over King Colored Road is also being built, expected to cut down about 800,000 truck movements on public roads. Despite the impressive groundwork, actual construction of the Mukab itself has been slow to begin. Although it is officially set for completion by 2030, many experts now believe that timeline may be optimistic, as delays have already pushed back early targets. And if you thought the queue was wild, wait till you hear about this. Kidia. This is not just a theme park. It's an entire city built for fun right outside Riyadh. Spanning over 360 square kilometers, Kidia is set to become Saudi Arabia's entertainment capital with theme parks, sports arenas, gaming hubs, and even residential and educational areas. And construction, it's moving fast. According to Kidia officials, Kidia is already 89% complete. Aqua Arabia Water Park has reached 84% completion. The golf courses are 77% done. Roads, bridges, and underground tunnels are in place. Even the city's massive gateway arch, inspired by the Tuwake Mountains, is nearly done. And one of the most iconic projects, the Prince Mohammed bin Salman Stadium, is also under construction. Rising 200 meters above sea level on the Tuwake Mountains, the stadium will seat 46,000 spectators, and is being built by a Spanish-Saudi alliance with plans to host matches for the 2034 FIFA World Cup. At the heart of it all is Six Flags Kidia, the first Six Flags park ever built outside North America. The star attraction, Falcon's Flight, now fully installed, is set to be the world's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster, featuring a 200-meter cliff dive and speeds up to 250 kilometers per hour. To survive the desert heat, engineers built special aerodynamic trains with wheel cooling systems and even windshield-style covers, so no goggles needed. And there's more for thrill-seekers. A GCI wooden coaster, described as the most intense ever built, is also ready. You'll also find an Intamin multi-launch coaster with the highest elevated inversion, a hyper-tilt coaster, and a fire-paced Mack Rides launch coaster, all packed into one record-breaking park. Beyond thrill rides... There's Aquarabia, a massive water park with 22 attractions, including the world's tallest water coaster, the largest drop slide, and the first underwater ride with submersible vehicles, all set within an ancient Desert Springs theme. On the motorsport side, the Kidia Grand Prix circuit is in progress, designed by F1 legends with 21 turns and a 108-meter elevation change. It could even become the new home for the Saudi Grand Prix in the future. Kitty is also thinking long-term with plans for residential areas, schools, and universities. And they are training the people to run it all. Over 60 Saudi students were sent to Orlando to learn theme park operations. Many now work across food, hospitality, HR, and attractions, helping build a team already 400-plus strong. To make it all smooth, smart tech is everywhere. Digital tickets, real-time maps, mobile ordering, and climate-optimized shade zones, all designed to keep guests cool, connected, and comfortable. When it's fully operational, Kitty is expected to attract over 48 million visitors annually, create more than 325,000 jobs, and contribute 135 billion Saudi rials to the Saudi economy each year. Oxygen is rapidly emerging as a high-tech coastal city and logistics hub within NEOM. Located on the Red Sea near the Suez Canal, one of the world's busiest trade routes, Oxygen enjoys a major logistical advantage. Satellite images confirm rapid development, especially the port of Enyom, which recently became the first in Saudi Arabia to receive fully automated remote control cranes. The port is being positioned as one of the world's most advanced terminals, supporting automation, trade, and tech-driven jobs. Terminal 1 is under development with a goal of handling 1.5 million TUs by 2026. 
The port has achieved ISO 9001 2015 certification, launched weekly feeder services with Jeddah, and opened a 46,000 square meter temperature controlled warehouse. Beyond logistics, Oxygen aims to be powered entirely by renewable energy and house 90,000 residents. Oxygen Hive is the first residential zone, while Oxygen Village is also in progress, both featuring green spaces, schools, and smart mobility. On the industrial side, Oxygen introduced the Advanced and Clean Manufacturing Framework with Bain & Company and is collaborating with the World Economic Forum. Tech innovation is also growing, including IBM's robotics orchestration platform and the Oxygen X McLaren Accelerator's second cohort of startups. Now, while many NEOM projects are still under development, one destination is already turning vision into reality, Sindala. Saudi Arabia's first NEOM project to open its doors, this ultra-luxury island on the Red Sea is officially NOM's first tourism destination and a major step in Saudi Arabia's plan to become a global travel hotspot. It opened to guests on October 27, 2024, with a lavish $45 million celebration hosted by Rob Report, featuring 65 super yachts and celebrity guests, including Alicia Keys, Catherine Jenkins, and Chris Tucker. Though Sindala is still under development, several key attractions like the Marina, Yacht Club, golf course, and multiple hotels and restaurants are already open for business. The island will eventually feature 413 luxury hotel rooms and 333 upscale apartments from brands like Four Seasons and Merit, along with fine dining restaurants and high-end retail outlets. By 2028, it is expected to welcome several thousand visitors each day. From crystal clear waters to world-class hospitality, Sindala is all about luxury, leisure, and unforgettable experiences. While Sindala brings luxury to the sea, Trojina takes it to the mountains. Set high in the Sawat Mountains, Trojina is NEOM's bold mountain destination, combining cutting-edge design with year-round adventure, from skiing and snowboarding to hiking, mountain biking, and water activities on a man-made freshwater lake. Trojina is designed to redefine outdoor tourism in the Gulf region. What truly set Trojina apart is its innovative snowmaking system. Using fan guns, the resort produces chemical-free snow that closely mimics natural snow in texture and appearance. Over 30 kilometers of ski slopes are planned, with 26 kilometers covered in real snow from early December to March. An additional 2 kilometers slope will be built on the roof of Trojina's iconic ski village building, while 6.5 kilometers of synthetic dry slopes will offer skiing throughout the rest of the year, ensuring a full 12-month ski season. The snow is produced under controlled freezing conditions, operating 24-7 without disrupting slope activities. Each snow production zone includes 12-hour snow storage with a complex piping system distributing snow across the mountain terrain. Construction is progressing rapidly. Major excavation work is complete, and over 1,000 tons of steel have already been installed in the vertical ski village. The overall steel framework will require 127,000 tons, equivalent to building 18 Eiffel Towers in just 18 months. Early shapes of architectural structures are now visible in the mountains with tower cranes working at high altitudes. Through the NEOM port, Trojina has also received two double-shield tunnel boring machines, marking another milestone in its infrastructure development. Trojina is also set to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games, making it the first Middle Eastern location to do so. It will feature luxury hotels, wellness resorts, and the vault, an ultra-modern vertical village built into the mountain. By 2030, Trojina aims to welcome over 700,000 visitors annually, offering a blend of adventure, sustainability, and futuristic living. The journey won't be easy, and the timelines may shift, but one thing is clear. Saudi Arabia is betting big on a future no one saw coming, and they've already started building it.